Good morning, Central Florida. JT Muscle here, your Central Florida Realtor, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, before we get started in today's video, remember, if you need a buy or sell, I'm your guy, because in today's market, you need a strong realtor. So choose JT Muscle. But anyway, let's get into the video. And in this video, I want to go over five things that you can do as far as your diet no matter what you're following, whether you're doing carnivore, whether you're vegan, whether you're just not following any diet at all and just doing normal standard American diet, you can apply these five things that will have dramatic effects, okay? And you don't have to change a thing. If you are happy exactly, you know, how you look, you don't have to do a single thing, okay? All right, first thing, let's start, I'm kind of putting these in order, right? So in the morning, before you eat anything, you need to plan your day, okay? And what I mean by this is, let's say you're going to, or we're gonna go this way. So let's say you're going, um, let's say it's football season, right? And you know for a fact that that afternoon you're going to a party, right? And there's college football, you're gonna be hanging out by the pool, grilling, drinking, whatever. And you know it's gonna happen, right? Don't eat breakfast that day. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, well, if I don't eat breakfast, I'm gonna be so hungry that I'm probably gonna eat more at the barbecue. And it might be true. However, by not eating breakfast, let's say, you know, especially if it wasn't gonna be something super healthy, like let's say you're gonna eat cereal or like pancakes, eggs and bacon or whatever, right? All those calories, that you would have cons consumed during breakfast can now be essentially added to your lunch. So just for easy math, let's say you normally eat 500 calories for breakfast and at the party you consume an extra thousand calories over what you normally would eat during that time period. Because you didn't have that 500 calories in the morning, you've essentially only are over 500 calories at the end of the day. Does that, does that make sense? So basically what I'm saying is kind of reserve those calories because you know you're gonna take an overeat at the, the barbecue or whatever, you know, if that's if that's what happens, right? Now, some other people, and, and, he, and here's going back to why eating before, the, the, the mindset of if I eat before, I'll eat less there, okay? Yes, that's maybe true if you're being super healthy, but especially if you're not. How many times have you said, I'm gonna pregame and drink a little at the house so that this way I drink less at the, at the party or downtown, and then you get drunk, go downtown or go to the party and still drink a ton, right? It didn't help you. Where if you didn't drink at home and then you drank downtown, Maybe you have one more drink, but overall, did you really, you, you consume less. See my point? Okay, so that's rule number one. Plan around the, the, your eating window and, uh, or plan, you know, based on your day, but also try to incorporate two, three times a week, just so you can get in the hang of it, of not eating breakfast. See how long you can go, all right? You could still eat whatever you want for lunch. You could still eat whatever you want for dinner but try to go as long as the day. Some days I don't eat till four or five o'clock in the afternoon, right? Now, it's gonna take time to boat up to that, so don't think the first day you can do it, but just kind of see, hey, I'm not gonna eat. I'm not gonna eat until I'm hungry, right? And just kind of a couple times a week take and do that. And you'll find yourself one during that period, that's when you'll be the most productive. You'll see, you'll be like, huh, if I don't eat, man, I'm gonna take and get this done and this done and, and then you eat and then you're like, ugh, and that's what happens, right? Okay, but most people do that 8 a.m. and that's why they're tired by 8.30, got it? Okay, so that's the first thing. Second thing, drink lemon water. First thing in the morning. That's the very first thing that you need to do and here's why. Lemons are a natural diuretic. So what's going to happen is when you drink that lemon water, and I do a whole lemon, not just one little piece. Squeeze the whole lemon in that cup, right? Get a press, it makes it so much easier. 
But what that's going to do is it's going to start flushing out water out of your body, which is naturally going to make you feel better. Plus it has a lot of vitamin C and it's going to just help start your day. But then it's also going to take and start flushing out water because if you're eating a standard American diet, you're probably eating a lot of carbs, sugars, and stuff that makes you retain water. And the lemon water is gonna help combat that. Now, I would recommend also drinking another glass of lemon water, like after your last meal or after a big meal, just to do the same thing and help with that. But definitely first thing in the morning, you're gonna wanna take and drink some lemon water. Okay, so now that's kind of our planning, right? Now let's get into the actual, you know, we're ready to eat. There's two, two things you can easily do that will just give you instant results. Okay, the first, if you have the option, double up on the meat to reduce something else. And I'll give you some examples. I like, to, I like to explain it, but then give you examples too. Public subs, okay? Instead of getting the foot long sub, get the six inch sub but have them put double meat on it. So you still get the same amount of meat, same amount of cheese if you want it. And you can still put the veggies and everything, but you're gonna double up on the protein. Essentially, you're gonna get all the, all the reasons of why you wanted that sub, right? The meat, the cheese, the, the vegetables, if you eat those weird things. Um, you're still gonna take in, you're gonna get all those cravings, I guess, fulfilled without eating half of the bread, which is gonna take in and save you in the calories, the carbs, the sugar that's in the bread. Same thing if you're like, let's say you go to a Chick-fil-A or a hamburger place and you get two quarter pounders, right? And that's what you eat. Get one quarter pounder and have them put an extra patty on. A lot of places do that. For example, Five Guys. When I go to Five Guys and I have, you know, a cheap meal, I will get their double cheeseburger and then have them throw two extra patties on. So I have a four patty burger. And I've talked about this before. Four patties on one bun. So I'm only getting the carbs of one bun. That's an easy way that you can take and cut out calories and carbs and sugars. Now, the other thing you can do, no condiments. Get rid of the condiments, okay? If you take and you eat a hamburger without ketchup, it will not be that big of a deal, especially if you're dieting and you want it, like for example, my Five Guys example, right? If I'm dieting, I shouldn't really be eating the Five Guys hamburger, but if I'm rewarding myself with that hamburger, I can at least then not have, you know, ketchup and mayonnaise and, all this other stuff that's just gonna be additional calorie barbecue sauce, like you don't need it. I understand it's not gonna taste as good, right? Eating french fries without ketchup is not gonna taste as good. But let me put it this way. If you want that french fry, would you rather have french fries with no ketchup or a side of broccoli? Like, okay, so pick your battle, right? Should you have french fries? No. But if that's what it, you know, if you're craving it and you need to get through that mental block and you're gonna eat them anyway, don't make it worse by pouring it with ketchup, barbecue sauce, fake cheese. Cheese sauce on fries is absolute garbage. Do not eat that ever, okay? Don't eat it on a hamburger. Do not, fake cheese is garbage. It's liquid plastic turned yellow. It's nasty. Um, so that's the two things you can do while you're eating, right? Eliminate the, the condiments, try to double up on the meat, plus protein is gonna make you feel a lot fuller. That double meat, that sandwich is gonna be so meaty, just mentally, it's gonna make you feel fuller than if you ate a foot long sandwich with, ha with uh, double the bread. It's weird, but I'm telling you, it works. So get out the condiments and um, double up on the protein, okay? Now the last tip that I have for you guys, after you eat, and this is, this is probably the most important, right? After you eat, try to get a thousand steps in, okay? 
The reason why is most people will take an eat and then sit down. Sit down on the couch, or maybe they were eating while they were sitting down. I personally like to stand. I don't even have a dining room table. We use an island, so I stand every meal. I don't even, unless I'm at a restaurant, obviously I'm not gonna stand, that'd be weird. But, switch this. Stand while you're eating, and then get a thousand steps in after you're done with that meal. What this is gonna do is one, especially if there's some carbs in there, it's gonna start burning those carbs right away because carbs are fuel, okay? Additionally, by moving, it's gonna start helping with that digestion, especially if you're kind of sipping on some lemon water too. The point is, okay, you just had this meal. You wanna to try to burn off as much of it as you can especially you know if you're trying to lose weight so that this way less gets stored into as body fat right because that's the whole goal that's why you're trying to lose weight if that's what you're trying to do and even if you're not i mean i don't think anyone would be opposed no 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 i have to store as much body fat as possible uh, most people are not are not like that so um so what you can do is walk around and try to plan it like um like let's say uh, let's think of an example. So let's say you're at a theme park or let's say you're shopping at the mall and you go to the food court or something like that. You eat the meal, then go pick the farthest store or go for the, the, the attraction that's the farthest away and say, you know what? I just ate three slices of pizza and, and you know, a burger at the food court. And now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go walk to one end of the mall and walk back. Get yourself, if you have an Apple watch, it counts your steps for you. If not, your phone, get a cheapo pedometer, whatever, but go for a thousand steps, okay? By doing that, you're gonna at least minimize, that's the goal of this video, minimize any effects of eating a standard American diet or whatever diet you're on um, to take and try to avoid storing as much body fat as possible. So those are my five tips. Hopefully you guys have learned something and uh, enjoyed this type of content. So let's go over all five, ready? Plan your day. Skip breakfast a few times a week, but if you're gonna eat, if you know you're gonna eat a big meal, skip breakfast. Two, drink lemon water. It tastes good, it's better than regular water. It's better than you drinking a diet soda. Drink lemon water. Three, no condiments. The only, you wanna sprinkle a little bit of salt, sea salt, not that iodized bullshit. You wanna put some salt in there, fine. But no condiments, ketchup, barbecue sauce, fake garbage cheese, get rid of it, all that, okay? Four, double up on the meat. Ask for, you know, an extra patty or double the meat up on the sub or whatever you're just gonna do. Ask for, ask for double the meat. And then number five, make sure you do a thousand steps after you finish your meal, okay? You do those five things, I guarantee you're gonna take and you're gonna lose some weight you're gonna feel a lot better and you're gonna be able to kind of live your life a little little better without all the uh, restraints that you're gonna feel, you know, especially if you're on a weight loss plan. So try those out, let me know how it works for you. Leave a comment down in the, uh, in the comment section below. I'd love to hear what other tips do you have? Like not do low carb or don't do this or whatever. Things that anybody can do. Any tips that you have, leave it down in the comments below. I would love, maybe I'll do a future video uh, show, showcasing, you know, what you guys have said. Uh, but let me know down in the comments. Subscribe, drop a like on the video. Remember, if you need a Central Florida Realtor, JT Muscle is your guy. In this market, you need someone strong. So my links will be down in the description. Contact me. Let's get started. But anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. Share this video with someone and I'll see you in the next video.